the congested again. He sends it to the top of the square. Well, my check jump here, he can't. And Frampton outmarked a lot of them. Stood in the middle of the pack. And Draper thought he had it until Frampton came alive. The comeback has begun. Yes, yeah, 22 points now, Dwayne. And you've got to be really careful here if you're the Bombers because you've got to make sure you actually win this game. As crazy as that sounds, they can't try and save this game by playing cautious. They've got to try and execute their game style by keep taking the game on. Josh Dacos. Gets on the end of the knockdown, gave to Dugowie, who just hits Johnson on the boundary. 55 from goal. He winds up. Has he got the range? He loads up long. This is bring ever. the house down. That's out of here. That's awesome. That's as good as it gets. Didn't win the footy initially, and Chris did. Fashioned out some sort of kick around the 50. It runs on. McCreary's after it. Kelly's trying to corral him. McCreary slips over and then regained his footing. Brushed the tackle. High ball to full forward. Meyer check set himself. Will Kelly the other way. Big Dacos walked it in. The Collingwood fans know what's happening. The Essendon players know what's happening. It's transfixing, it's paralyzing, and it's nine points and closing. Oh, Jared, we've read this book before, haven't we? We've seen this happen many, many times with this Collingwood side. Ridley clears the area. Markov had best access, brought it to ground at the back. Snelling had to stick the tackle, he did it. Oleg regained his footing, hand pass to Will Kelly, off to Rusko, kick inside 50, Ginnivan's alone and unattended. It's happening in slow motion. He loves the moment. The second biggest home and away crowd in history stares down at Jack Ginnivan, who kicks from 30. Right for it. It's deafening. Essendon just don't know what to do. It's uh, it's like they're, they're just in complete paralysis. Are they about to take the lead back here? A long launch. Bobby Hill. Runs to 50, runs to 40, centering kick, top of the square, off my check's hands. He lays a tackle. He stripped Corbell. Umpire said he didn't have prior. McCreary gave it up just in time. Nick Dacos <laughs> of all people. Oh, no. Of all people, Nick Dacos. The star of the show again. You just can't stop the man. And he put Collingwood in front. 78 to 76 with eight minutes left. Rammed into about four players who are waiting in the congestion. Somehow side bottom, extracts himself and kicks the monster. They've raised the heat in this last quarter, Collingwood. The big stars, the old stars, the young stars. But you've got to take your hat off to this footy club. It's an avalanche. They've been so impressive. Their belief, their desire, their grit, their resilience. All of those adjectives are away. Collingwood chant starts ringing around the MCG. Wide ball to Josh Dacos. His brother's had it 40 times. Nick Dacos with 40 possessions for the afternoon. In one of the all-time great performances by a kid. Josh Dacos short to Mitchell. And the Collingwood chant gets louder. And more seconds tick down. Mitchell down the line. Siren not far from sounding. Big flyers go up. Picked off by Johnson. Gave it up to side bottom. Kicks it towards McCreary. Forward pocket. He's got it. And the crowd roars again. And the siren's about to sound. And it's deafening. The biggest day on the Australian calendar. The biggest crowd ever for an Anzac Day at the greatest arena for sport in Australia and the greatest last quarter comeback that was seen for quite a while by arguably the biggest club in the country, the Collingwood Footy Club, McCreary, for the finishing touch. And that sound, that roar, tells you more than I can in a thousand words. Here's the song, the final score, 13, 12, 90 to 11, 11, 77.